Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on InRange TV. Today we're out here doing a mud test on a Glock 19. We've gotten a lot of requests for this. Glock's renowned as a pretty durable, reliable gun, so we're going to see if it will survive this nasty coup. Uh, as, as usual, we will start by running a couple rounds through it, just to confirm that it does, in fact, work. It appears to, in fact, work. Now, let me unload it. And then I am going to go ahead and put an earplug in the barrel just to uh, prevent mud from getting into the barrel and causing a barrel obstruction. Slide that in there. We'll give that a moment to expand up to its full size. And then we now have nine rounds left in the magazine. And if it works through these, I've got another magazine, which I'll put out right there. All right. There we go. Didn't pop the earplug out. We're ready for the goo. You ready? Oops. Didn't get it on the other side. Well, that's pretty muddy. Ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, it has failed to go completely into battery. Still failing to go into battery. Something's, I think, there's probably mud in the locking recess. There's mud in the magazine. That can't be a good thing. It's not even going into battery quite all the way without a round in the chamber. Ooh. Did once. I think this thing's toast. Having covered my glasses with mud, it decided to stop working. Uh, now, the issue with the Glock, of course, it is it is a locked breech pistol, and it's on the Browning system, which means the barrel is locking into the slide right up here. And if you get mud into those locking recesses, it's going to fail to go into battery, and it ain't going to work so good. Let me see if, just out of curiosity... No. It's dead. All right, we don't normally do this, but we're gonna run some water over this and see if we can bring it back to life. To be honest, largely because we want to be able to get a second shot out of it to do high-speed footage for you guys. Also, uh, the last test we did was with a high point, and the high point got two rounds off instead of the one like the Glock, and a rinse of water was able to bring the high point back to life. So. Let's see if the same thing applies here. All right. <laughs> nope. Sorry. Nine. Nine is tall. That's it. It looks like it's going into battery, but there's mud in the striker or something because the trigger's dead. Mm. Ooh. No. So now it's going into battery all the way. Take the slide off. I don't know if I can. If I can't drop the striker, I can't take the... Oh, God. <laughs> Well, I think this is due for a serious water bath because I can't get the slide off either because I can't drop the striker because there's mud in it and I can't get the mud out without taking the slide off and I can't get the slide off because I can't drop the striker because there's mud in it and I can't get the mud out without ta- You see where this is going. Um, sorry. Thanks for tuning in, guys. 
If you enjoy watching these mud tests, please consider checking out our Patreon page. A uh, little bit of funding there helps uh, me buy a new Glock because that one's so dirty I'll just have to throw it away. If not, we totally get it. Check us out on YouTube and Full30 and don't miss out on our Facebook page or our cool new swag and t-shirts. Thanks for watching.